Hi, I just wanted to give you a quick intro uh, and graphic and kind of simulation of what this normal distribution idea is all about. So what I've got here is uh, a set of simulated study scores. So in Victoria, uh, we students get a standardized study score and that has a mean of 30 and a standard deviation of 7. So you can use Excel to create uh, a set of data with a mean of 30 and a standard deviation of 7. And I've assumed that we've got 1,025 students here, or one th around about 1,000 students. So if we take this data, we can put, the, put it into this software called Tinkerplots, and this is what it looks like. This is just all the data completely not ordered at all. But what we can actually do is we can take it and we can order it by score. So there's our score, and this is the scores from 0 to 29, and this is the scores um, from, from 30 to 59. But that doesn't tell us that much. We want to have it by score, by individual score. So let's increase the resolution or increase the, the quality, uh, the number of categories. So I'm increasing the number of categories here. Now I've got three categories of score. Now we've got four categories of score. Now we've got five categories of score. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. More and more and more and more. And we keep on stretching this out until the point where this is each score. So if we can see here, one student or one student got a score of six, uh, poor student. One student got the score of ten, and then all the way up to right at the end where one score student got the score of 53. That's not completely right because I think it's capped at uh, 50. So that's an, impo it's, that's an impossible score. But if this was a really, a really good normal distribution, this is what it might look like. Now, how from this data, we've got all our data in the columns, how do we actually get to the normal distribution? All I have to do is stack these this data. And there, we can see this is how we get a normal distribution. So what this means is one student has this score, two students have this score, one student has 49, four students have 48. You can see the mean sits around at this 30 mark and the standard deviation is going to sit between the 30 and the 37 and the 30 and the 23. So that is hopefully a nice and clear visualization of the normal distribution.